Welcome to the J Analytics module installation procedure for Joomla 1.5 to enable you to have Google Analytics code in your website. Okay, so first of all, um, if you don't have one already, you need to go and get yourself a Google Analytics account. Uh, you can sign up uh, for free uh, at google.com forward slash analytics and um, once you've got an account just set up your um, website I'm not going to go through that with you because Google has a lot of um, excellent documentation and it's very simple so um, okay so for the actual Joomla installation of J Analytics first of all you need to go to my website which is www.tedesco.net.au and download the latest version of J Analytics. So I go to my Joomla menu item and under J Analytics there's a quick menu link to download the latest version. Currently that version is 1.3.0 so save that onto your hard drive and then we can get on with the actual installation of J Analytics. So I've set up a vanilla install of Joomla 1.5 and I'm going to show you this on the standard template that comes with Joomla. So the first thing we need to do is actually modify the template. So we'll go to extensions template manager and click on the standard template that comes with Joomla. Now your template might be slightly different but most of them are pretty much similar to this one. Um, there are a few that uh, customize templates that um, are a bit more difficult. If you come across one of those or are using one of those um, don't worry too much just uh, send me a email via my contact form and I'll get back to you um, to help you out. So let's edit this template by clicking on it and we edit the HTML. So don't stress too much if you've never edited HTML. This is very simple and um, it's just one line of code. So at the moment this is what the standard template looks like but we don't need to worry about any of this. All we do is scroll right down to the bottom of the page and we will find this body tag. So just above this body tag we're going to insert a new module position for, for, for our template. So we just type in jdoc include just like the one above it type equals modules now the name is what we're going to change and this is what we see in the position section of our module so we're going to call this one Google Analytics and we're going to add one other thing to this and that is style equals raw and that just stops any code from being wrapped around our Google Analytics code um, by Joomla itself okay so once you've done that save the template and close that so we're done with the template now that's as easy as it gets so we need to now go and install our J Analytics module so browse for the file that you um, downloaded and upload it into our site. So we've installed it successfully and what we need to do is actually make some changes to the module so that it knows that it is our site in Google Analytics. So go to the module manager and scroll down until you find J Analytics. Now you'll see here that currently it's disabled. We'll enable it all at once when we're modifying our parameters that we need to modify. 
uh, click on J Analytics. You can leave the title the same, you'll never see it. We're going to disable the title being shown. Enable the module. And here is where we set up our Google Analytics position that we entered into the template. Now if you drop down the list you won't actually see it. Um, so because it's custom, all we need to do now is actually just type it in here. It's a nice little feature that uh, Joomla has. Analytics. There we go. And we've set up our new template position. Uh, you can leave all these the same unless you don't want to track certain pages in your website. You can select the menu items that you want to track only. Um, now we set up our parameters for Google Analy for J Analytics and Google Analytics. And I suggest you just leave the first one, um, the code, to be Google Analytics. The Urchin script is the old legacy code that Google has. You can still use it, but it's pretty much out of date now. Your Google Analytics ID, you will have um, when you set up your site in Google Analytics itself. So we just need to put that ID into here. Yeah. I'm just going to put a dummy one in so that you can see what happens. Now, the dash 1, dash 2 at the end is necessary because that's your actual website ID. Um, everything before that is your actual account ID in Google Analytics. So don't forget the dash one, dash two, depending on how many websites you've got. Now, the subdomain section, uh, you can either leave this blank if you've only got one subdomain, uh, which is just your www subdomain. But if you've got multiple subdomains like www plus uh, shop dot um, or forums dot, what you need to do is just put in your domain name without any of the subdomains in front of it. So for instance, uh, for mine, it'll be tedesco.net.au. Um, like I said, you don't need to have this. It's only if you have subdomains. Okay, so let's save that now. And you've basically set up J Analytics for Google Analytics tracking. So, I'll show you what it actually looks like. Now, this is the standard Joomla template. And you can see if we scroll all the way down, there is nothing that we can see here. You'll never see J Analytics on your site. You'll only see it in the source code. So, if we look at the page source, let it load. We need to scroll all the way to the bottom just before the end body tag and you can see our Google Analytics script. Now the raw part in the template stops it from putting any other code around here so we need to make sure that you've got that raw bit in the template. And that's it so you can see there's the your ID for the website and for subdomain tracking we've got the subdomain. Um, good luck if you have any other issues or problems with it just go to my website and use the contact form to send me an email and um, good luck with your tracking.